Welcome to our Altair team uh, Monday morning update. We just wanted to welcome everybody and say uh, happy new week. First of all, we're going to remind you of a party we have, we have going on. Yes, tonight, 6 to 8 at Riverton City Park. Major mashup party, all the holidays, lots of fun. Be there. Yeah, so that one's going to be like Santa Claus is going to be there, Easter Bunny. We'll talk about axe fun throwing. stuff. Axe throwing. Axe throwing. Axe throwing. Axe throwing. Axe throwing. Axe throwing. balls. Hot dogs. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be awesome. Yeah. This is like, most, a lot of people, this is like their favorite event. Yeah. yeah, there's a ton of people, a ton of activities. It'll be fun. Yeah, so come have a great time. <laughs> then um, we want to just talk about real quick what's, what we've seen in the market this last week. So I think Sam and Casey, did you guys some stuff happening? Or even Justin, who wants to go well, first? Well, like this weekend, uh, we, put a con we put a house on a contract. Uh, the seller seemed a little bit more desperate. Uh, house had sat on the market for a week. We were actually able to put it, put it under contract. Uh, 10, grand, 10 grand under list, which normally you don't usually see. So anyways, a little bit of a shift there. Uh, but but on the flip side, yeah, flip side. Did you have warn that? Well, I was yeah, gonna we, say that, oh, go I mean, positive news for people selling their homes. We did have a higher end listing that we were concerned about. It had been sitting on the market and we were worried about 30, 40 days. So we were worried that that was with the interest rates, but then we looked at graphs and it showed historically that this is a slow time for showings just in Utah in general. And so we waited. Yeah, we, we think that's typically because, uh, you know, end of the school year, then after school year ends, people are on vacation and now they're just coming back right now. Yeah. And this is when we see showings go up, number of showings. So, and so we didn't drop price, ended up holding out, told them to be patient and ended up being really positive. We got numerous offers this week and now under contract at full price. So, so we did that for our clients, right? But that listening guy on mine, mine, he didn't know that. So they dropped their <laughs> oh, price no. and then we went under that. Exactly. So, yeah. so anyways. It, 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 it pays to know some of the nuances. Yeah, yeah. So that said, we do still have a few listings that are sitting. So we'll see after this week, because this if, if we still don't have any activity on this week, then we really do need to assess, reassess what's happening. So. Um, and then Sam, did you have something? No, no. Okay. okay. So, so basically bottom line is that the market is changing a couple ideas that you can do as a seller or in, you know, buyer as a buyer, um, with the, with the shift in increase in interest rates, you can look at assuming other people's loans. So you can take over somebody else's loan with a lower interest rate. Um, so that's something that you want some details on right now. Yeah, yeah, right? Everybody's sitting on their house right now because they have such low interest rates. So. Right. So, and in fact, interest rates, I think last week they had gone down a little bit. I think right now they're right around five and a quarter, of course, depending on the type of loan and, and you know, all that kind of stuff. But then um, another potential option is as a seller, instead of, instead of lowering your price point, another option is offering to buy down the buyer's uh, interest rate. So instead of saying, hey, I'm gonna come down $20,000, you can say, I'm gonna put $6,000 towards buying down the buyer's interest rate. That gets that buyer down to the monthly mortgage payment that they want, while well, the buyer still is able to make more money than, than they would by lowering at $20,000. So anyway, that's it. So hopefully we'll see you tonight, and thanks for uh, joining us. Bye. Bye. Bye.